Welcome back to episode 2 of my Tath in Falskar Let's Play. Uh, good morning, we're just waking up. It's the next day now, we're getting ready to head out to uh, talk to some monks, try to gather some intel about the recent bandit activity that's been happening in the Amber Hold in the land of Falskar. So we're just uh, finishing up breakfast here at the inn. We've uh, been out for a morning jaunt to the local stores. We got some new stuff. You'll see I've got this new outfit on with this uh, iron armor. Found this kind of black uh, do rags. I should probably tune boots. my loot. Now I look more like a soldier of fortune um, out to do the bidding of my Dark Lord Mayroom's Dagon. So uh, let's just have a bite to eat and uh, we'll get busy. Cheese. That's always a good combination. An apple with a hunk of cheese is really good. So that'll do. Good morning, folks. Hey, Mister. Hey. Greetings. Greetings. Have a good day. Bye bye. Busy now. All right. Oh, good. It's uh, it's raining a little bit. That kind of weather makes me uh, happy and excited as a follower of me. Keeper of the storm blade. Um, I would say I, I get a little more excited when it's uh, inclement weather out for this character. So okay, let's see what we gotta do. We gotta head um, to the Priory set, which is down here to the south west. And I'm gonna have to head straight south first to get around this mountainous uh, outcropping here. So let's just start off walking south. Hiking through the wet woods here. Being alert for any wolves. We ran into a wolf the other day. Or any other bandits. Other foes lurking in the bushes. Good. Stormblade at the ready, in case anything happens. see something in the woods, but then I get closer and it's just leaves rustling in the wind. It puts you on edge. It seems like there's an ominous mood in the game right now. I'm just waiting for something to pounce on me. So far, so good. I don't have any companions right now in the game, which is a little unusual for me, just personally I like to play with. Having a companion to follow me around and watch my back and carry stuff for me. But uh, I'm going solo right now with this Tath character. He is kind of a kind of a solo guy, lone wolf type guy. Maybe he'll get a, a manservant or something later to schlep his items around for him. But uh, so far we'll just head out by ourselves. Looks like a lone cabin out here. Oh, it's a farm. Okay. Just a farm out here in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I should go say hi just to get to know the local populace. See so what's going on. Good morning, ma'am. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm creeping out of the woods. Kind of creepily, but uh, no, I'm just a traveler. Passing by. Everything okay over here? Got some wood. <coughs> Let Admin know if you'd like to purchase any of the fine meats that he cooks up. Ooh, meats. Yeah, I might have to do that. Um, I need I someone to find a trade caravan that never got here. You see, Admin tends to the farm and I mostly make clothing. Oh. I then sell it in Emma Creek. Normally I get shipments of cloth and other fabrics of high quality. Imported hmm. all the way from Cyrodiil. Really? Without them, 
I can't make anything but the most basic garb. I sent a courier to Borfal to inquire about the caravan containing my goods. He returned later that day with news that it had arrived there on schedule and later departed for Emma Creek. But it never arrived, which means oh, something boy. happened to it. Search the road between Ember Creek and Borfald, would you? Certainly the caravan right. is somewhere along the way. If you can find it and find my materials for me, I can start working again. Please, let me know if you get my materials back from whoever took them. <sighs> Look, I'll keep an eye out for the missing caravan, but I do have business of my own to attend. Good morning. Oh, you, sir, I told you have meat okay. to sell. Let me just check the roast for some finished pieces. Seasoned beef. Looks like a pretty healthy uh, snack. Alright, I'll take one of those. Thank you. See ya. Alright. Hey, is there any way, do you know a way to get back to Skyrim from here? No? You don't want to talk to me, huh? Safe travels. About you. If you look, do you know how to get to Skyrim from here? That would be Wolf down at the docks. He still oh. brings me shipments of cloth from Skyrim, and I'm sure he'd be willing to take you there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the trade routes. Sometime. All right, thanks. All right, well I'm off. I gotta go visit the Priory. Half of the yard. and head back this way. Good day to you, farmers. Alright, tra-la-la-la-la, frolicking through the rain. Gotta go south again, looks like. It's getting chilly. There's a little bit of ice and snow built up there, looks like. Or is that just rock? Oh, that's just some kind of weird slate rock. Okay. I didn't think it was that arctic here in Fall Scar. I see some caribou or something running around over there. But uh, not really any snow yet. I just follow the road, should take me into the Priory. What time is it? 11 in the morning. That's a good time to visit some monks. A beautiful, rainy day. All we're missing is a few peals of thunder. I think I can hear some off in the distance, but it would be nice if they were closer. Morning, officer. I heard that a guard in Skyrim used to be an adventurer like you, until oh, they you. took an arrow in the knee. Yeah, I have heard that too, Olvir. How you doing, buddy? Something's wrong with the hot springs. They feel very bad. Really? I wonder if it has to do with those necromancers. Necromancers in the hot springs? Yikes. Now well, sounds like the guard has their work cut out for them. Let's go see the... Monks, this must be the Priory. Okay, so that's where the monks probably are. They got a stables here, that's nice. Looks like they got a little shrine here with some uh, statuary set up for the divines. And it looks like a monk doing some morning uh, rituals here. Morning, sir? Yes? Oh, Brother Thorlo. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Oh, you know it. Hey, listen, do you know anything about the increased bandit activity that's been going on around here? Not really. I know that a growing problem in our over Falska, but uh, nothing else. I see. Uh, apparently they're Yingvar's men, and he's paying them. Uh, and the Jarl wants you to come to Amber Creek and help us. That couldn't be. Unless... Yingvar is trying to start another war. So, regardless, we cannot help. 700 years ago, Shore saved our ancestors so that we could flourish in this land and absorb its knowledge, not tell it apart with war. 
We will not help instigate another one with the Orvaldas. Of course, we are so loyal to the Borvaldas. If it comes to it, we will fight by Kigagnar's side until victory or Sovngor takes us. I'm glad to hear you're so zealous about fighting. Very well. Follow Skyju. And you, um, sir, I'll take your answer back to the Jarl. But maybe I'll stop here for lunch in your priory. It's about noon, if you don't mind. And so Talos reached out and gave Season him a hand. The farmer would live to Good ten afternoon, years. brother. Huh? Oh, excuse me. I was deep in thought. No problem. What, what are you doing around here? I help Brother Thorlo tend to the priory and keep order in our pursuit of knowledge. Though, I can't say I've done that job very well recently. Uh-oh. What do you mean? There used to be another prior here, Brother Vernon. While we wanted to research slowly and cautiously, he wanted to rush through using whatever magical items we obtained without restraint. <laughs> On like top of that, guy. he wished to learn anything he could about magic, regardless of its source. His <laughs> worst vice was that of necromancy. Ooh. His ways finally caught with him, and he accidentally harmed two other priors. We expelled him immediately from the monastery, and stripped him of his status as a prior. We sent him on his way, letting him grab only a few things from his room. However, we know there was more. We are all convinced that Brother Vernon had some sort of a lair or refuge around the priory. Hmm. It's probably a place where he hid things, and conducted a lot of his unorthodox research. But we have been unable to find it. Hmm. This brother Vernon sounds recklessly ambitious. Mayrun's Dagon would approve. <laughs> Perhaps I can find brother Vernon's stuff for you. Really? You would do that for us? Thank you. Oh, yes. We know he hid somewhere on the ground, just not where. You can ask around if you have to. Some of the other priors may know something of use. Please, bring me anything of interest that you find. Very well. Farewell. Just have a bite to eat, and I'll go look. I'll come inside. Just make myself at home here. Oh, look at this. There's a little shrine to Akatosh there. Bad little place here. Good afternoon, I'm just here for lunch. Hello. Hello. Let's see. Hmm. Let's have some uh, seasoned beef and some garlic bread with that. Sounds delicious. Alright, that was a good lunch. Now we're ready to go looking for uh, your delinquent brother's secret lair. Yes? Do you know where this Vernon guy may have hidden anything? Well, he liked to go for walks at night. I'm not really sure when he found the time to sleep. Sure seemed odd at the time. Hmm. Alright. Fair travels. I guess I'll go for a walk. Let's see if I can see anything. All right, looks like the brothers do a little gardening, oh, and the uh, sisters too, yes. perhaps. May the gods watch over you. Oh, and you, do you know where uh, Vernon may have hidden anything? He usually spent time around the pond during the day. I'd assume wherever he hid, it would be easy accessible. He was not a man of patience. In the pond. Be safe. Oh, well, thank you. I'll do what I can. I don't know how I feel about all the voice actors in this Falskar mod. <laughs> Some of them seem like definitely amateurs. But, uh, what are you gonna do? It's free. So I guess we'll live with that. Uh, what's that? Is this the pond she was talking about? It's like a little kind of a sewer 
hole here. Aha! I found your hideout, Vernon. Let's check this out. Let's see what kind of secret necromantic experiments Brother Vernon was doing that may be of interest to my lord. So let's just poke around here. Cages, braziers. Oh, what have we here? Vernon's journal. That could be useful. Mysterious crystal falls out from between the pages. Interesting. Brother Arnold might want to know about that. Let's see here. <clears throat> I have finally done it. I have located the long lost Daedric artifact known as the Dream Crystals. Hmm. However, I've run into a problem. There's some kind of protective magic shielding them from our world. They are useless to me in this state. Luckily for me, my recent expeditions into the magics of necromancy have allowed me to meet some pertinent individuals. I will show them the crystals and see if they will help me decode the magics within. I have shown the crystals to my companions, and they are as eager as I am to unlock the magic within. There are five crystals, so I will be keeping one, and we will be sending off the others to various groups. Not only must we do this quickly, but we must keep them separate. If they fall into the wrong hands, I will never be able to use them. The incantations on them are tricky, but I have faith that we will be able to remove them soon enough. It is then that I will be able to utilize them. I'm not yet sure for what, but I will come up with something, perhaps to boost my necromancy. An undead servant? <laughs> Can you imagine enjoying that? This guy's... This guy's on to something here. Someone to clean up after you, serve you meals, and give you a hand. That does sound nice. Let's see. Without having to feed or care from them or any worry for their happiness, I can't see any who wouldn't want such a thing. Yeah, this guy's right. This guy's a brilliant genius. Or perhaps even a boost to the local guard. Imagine the power in numbers of having an army of the undead at your disposal. That would certainly help settle the conflict in this land. We shall find a use, I am sure of it. All right, the research goes well. We have broken the seal on one crystal. I'm close to decoding my own as well. We make good progress. I have moved my research into a small cavern behind the Priory. Ah, that must be where I am right now. The others are made uneasy whenever I express interest in such artifacts or the study of the undead. I am unsure why. They seem overcautious in their endeavors. It's true, they do seem like a bunch of little wussies. This angers me greatly. They are throwing away so much potential. The world could be changed by these magics and the study of such arts. Why they must cast negative stigmas on them, I do not understand. Yeah, a misunderstood genius. Regardless, I will show them. I will unlock the magic of the crystals myself, and I will show them how helpful it can be. I will soon return to Volcrun to keep. Okay, that sounds important. There I may be using the crystals as we break each seal. I'm very excited to use them, as they have already shown great effects. Mind control, adjustment, and even manipulation of the world around the user. Such power must not be wasted. I will not allow it to be wasted. Alright, let's take that journal. And let's take that back to the brothers. And perhaps they'll reward us go and try to hook up with this Vernon guy and see if we can help him out. Or if he can help us out, I guess is the more pressing concern. Alright, I found Vernon's secret hideout, guys. Who do I have to tell about that? Let's see. Uh, Arnand. Okay, I gotta find Arnand. There he is. I found the hideout. Hey, look what I found. What brings you to the Priory? I found Vernon's hideout. This journal was in it, and look what's inside of it. What is this? Some kind of a crystal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I must do some reading on this. Please, give me a day and then return. I will need your further assistance. Oh, and here, for your time thus far. Thank you. Oh. Well, thank you. Right. Farewell. Perhaps I'll delay my journey back to the Jarl and uh, stick around here for a day so I that guy can is some sort of new do his research. Uh, in fact, maybe I'll just go ahead and 
relax in that lair and hang out there for a while. He reads up on these mysterious Daedric crystals. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go back to that lair. Maybe I'll just make that into my lair. May the gods look, watch over you. You look pretty comfy there. Enjoying your nap in the rain. Seems like a weird thing to do for somebody who doesn't worship the Mary Stega. Alright guys, uh, this is my lair now. I'm just going to take over this little hidey hole of your old friend Vernon. So, nobody bother me. I'm going to sleep. Alright. Well, it's pretty cozy in here. Uh, there is this nice little kind of bed mat here. Sleep on some furs and a pile of hay. So, yeah, let's wrap up episode two there. We'll um, take a nap, sleep the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. He said we had to wait a whole day, so I'm going to just hang out in this cave for 24 hours. And uh, we'll go back tomorrow, talk to the monk, see what is he was able to uh, uh, discover about the crystals, and uh, go on from there next time. So thanks again for tuning in. Catch us next time in episode 3, and we'll see where Tath goes in Falskar to spread the influence of Mehrun's Dagon. Goodbye for now.